Pastor, you're a young guy on the team, but you're making such an impact. How does it feel to contribute this season? I mean, it feels great. You know, um, you know, I just give all the glory to God. You know, he's he's put me here, and I just got to be a good good steward uh, for what he's given. So. That's right. Your faith has led you a lot. Can you tell us about your journey through that and how it helps you on the field? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you know, living living for Christ is not easy, and uh, it's, it's a battle every day. So, you know, I just pray that, that God continues to to give me the strength to to follow Him and give Him the glory because, you know, uh, persevere. He, he can help you persevere through it, and when you sow those seeds, uh, you know, He'll bless you with with a re, with a harvest uh, from that. So. Your coaches say you're such a nice guy off the field. You're always doing the right thing, but you run and you're mean. How are you able to turn it on on the field? Uh, you know, like I said over there, it's kind of I kind of had to train for it, and uh, I wouldn't really like that last year. But you know, I just had to find a way to kind of get to that because I knew that was going to make me a better player. So the hard work is certainly paying off. You're ranked fifth in the Big Ten for rushing yards. You are doing that with half of the carries. How are you able to contribute and make such a big impact with this team? Yeah, you know, you know, when your number's called, you just gotta, you gotta be just as good as the, the guy that came out. So anytime, you know, I, they they call me out there, I just want to be the best, you know, that I can be for the team, and you know, just help help the team succeed. So. And last night, you guys were ranked the number one team in the country. Were you guys looking at that? Do you buy into that at all? Uh, we don't really pay attention to that too much. You know, we just try to, you know, keep working. We know we got we got a lot to to improve on, and uh, that that's not really something that we we look look to, but. Just focusing on Maryland this week. You guys did have to go into overtime last year. Is that playing into this week? Do you guys still have a chip on your shoulder from that last season? I mean, of course, you always got to have a chip on your shoulder. And of course, we, we got to learn from the things that happened last year. And we just we just hope to, you know, uh, just learn from it and get better from that. And Master, finally, I got to ask some of the guys joke about it. Do they really call you Master? Uh, you talking about the guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they course. call you their master at all? Uh, well, not their master, but they call me that. You know, uh, some people, I guess, might not have, be so comfortable with it. So yeah. a lot of people call me T too. It's whatever. You know, okay. Whatever they want. But, all right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Best of luck this weekend. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you very much, Stephanie. When we come back after the beating the Wolverines took last year, it appears.